The rumors about Kawasaki's plans to make an electric motorcycle has been going around the EV community for some time now. These rumors were even backed up by official Kawasaki teasers that appeared last year and partially described their research and development efforts in the field of electrification. With this in mind, we were really excited to see Kawasaki's exhibition stand at this year's Milan Motor Show. To our delight, the Japanese manufacturer did show a trio of electrified models, but this presentation seems to have left us with more questions than answers. The show floor did contain three motorcycle models, a battery electric city bike, a hybrid model, and a hydrogen-powered motorcycle. But these newcomers could only be evaluated in terms of design since no concrete technical specifications were announced. The first model, an upcoming Kawasaki hybrid bike, will have an engine with a parallel twin design, similar to that currently found inside the production Ninja 250 and Ninja 400 models. The rumored displacement of this powertrain is 399 cc, and thanks to the support is a hybrid electric motor, the total output could be similar to that of a Ninja 650. The second motorcycle, a hydrogen-powered prototype, is based on the Ninja H2 platform. The two-wheeler will be using an engine that consumes directly injected compressed hydrogen gas, thus producing the riding thrills comparable to a high-performance sport touring motorcycle. Finally, the least powerful duo on the stand are the battery electric versions of the Ninja and Kawasaki Z models. These would be powered by an electric motor with an estimated output of 11 kilowatts and a 3 kilowatt hour battery pack with quick swap capabilities, thus prompting a strictly city commuting application. Cake Motorcycles, a Swedish e-motorcycle manufacturer, couldn't let this year's EICMA motorcycling exhibition happen without showing its brand new offering. The company used years of its engineering experience in development of race and off-road motorcycles to create their most advanced trail-ready machine. It received the Buck name, which is reportedly translated as a thundercloud. The two-wheeler is offered in a race yellow color scheme specially developed for this limited edition 50-unit production run. Besides a unique look, the bike has undergone an extreme weight reduction procedure that resulted in the best power-to-weight ratio in this motorcycling class. While tipping the scales at just 187 pounds, this dirt bike can produce 16 kilowatts of power output, 310 pound-feet of torque, and a top speed of 62 miles per hour. Due to the lightweight nature of this build, the company resorted to the use of a compact battery pack with 2.9 kilowatt hours of capacity. Buck's limited riding autonomy issue is partially resolved with a unique frame design that allows hot battery swapping. If you have access to an additional battery pack, you could go back to riding in a matter of minutes. If you decide to use a regular charging option, a 0 to 100% charging session would take 2.5 hours. Da Vinci Motors have used this year's Milan Motor Show as an opportunity to announce the production-ready version of the DC100 electric motorcycle. The DC100, an all-electric replacement to 1,000cc ICE motorcycles, was first presented to the public in its conceptual form last year. This high-performance electric motorbike has a sharp throttle that delivers instant, adaptable acceleration. The 0-60 to 60 time takes just 3 seconds. Such acceleration comes courtesy of a 100 kilowatt electric motor. The DC100 bike peaks at the 124 mile per hour mark and has an average effective range of 249 miles. Compatible with a level 3 DC fast charger, Da Vinci motorbikes can be fully charged in just 30 minutes. The efficient stopping power comes courtesy of a braking system with Brembo M4.30 four piston radial calipers. While the on-road riding comfort is guaranteed by an inverted front fork by Olin's and a central rear shock. The creators of this vehicle like to refer to it as a robotic motorcycle. The main reason is a set of high-tech sensors that analyze the riding environment at all times and adjust motor power accordingly. The motorcycle also has several ride modes, hill start assist control, downhill assist control, a combined braking system, traction control, as well as a kinetic energy recovery system that can charge the battery on the go. The owners of DaVinci Bikes also get a dedicated phone app for all trip information, 
vehicle information, GPS, and navigation. All these features with high performance make the DC100 a complete package. The fans of classic models could also opt in for the DC Classic modification. There will only be 50 units of this less futuristic bike produced. Hyperfighter Colossus is the most powerful model that the Canada's Damon Motorcycles has produced to date. Just like other motorcycles by the brand, this Street Fighter will be built on the Hyperdrive platform. This monocoque multivariant platform was specially designed to mass-produce motorcycles of different classes. This limited-edition two-wheeler is brought into motion by means of an electric, oil-cooled motor capable of generating 150 kilowatts of power and 173 pound-feet of torque. The power unit draws its energy from a lithium-ion battery pack that is paired to an active thermal management system. As a result, it can withstand great loads, especially when you're trying to hit the announced 170 mph top speed mark. The battery's 20 kWh capacity will let you travel for up to 146 miles in the combined cycle. It will also support Level 1, Level 2, and DC fast charging, so with the most powerful recharging option, you can get back on the road in about 45 minutes. A list of other significant features found in this model includes a smart co-pilot system that uses radars and cameras to give you useful safety warnings on the road, as well as a shift system that raises or lowers handlebars and foot pegs to achieve the most comfortable riding position. Tramox is a relatively new name in the world of electric transport, but its products have already managed to create quite a bit of buzz in the EV community. Last year, the company presented two electric minibikes that are perfect for navigating busy city streets. This year, however, Tramox decided to announce some improvements that will be introduced to their models soon. The newly presented Uco AT received all the required gear and technical upgrades to turn the standard Uco city bike into an all-terrain ready machine. This tiny e-motorcycle is based on an aluminum alloy cradle frame. It features an oil damp spring suspension in the front and an airbag suspension in the rear. The bike is rolling on a set of wire-spoked wheels, 16 inches in the front and 14 inches in the rear. The performance comes courtesy of a 4-kilowatt electric motor that channels its power through a specially developed gearbox. As a result, 8-kilowatt peak output capabilities and a 162 pound-feet of torque output were achieved. The motor works in tandem with a 72-volt, 50-amp-hour battery pack. With such powertrain parameters, you can zip through busy city streets at speeds up to 55 miles per hour, or do some slight off-roading for distances up to 60 miles. Energica Xperia is said to be the brand's longest-range bike to date. In order to offer good touring capabilities, it was fitted with an industry-leading 22.5 kWh battery pack. As per the manufacturer, this capacity can provide up to 261 miles of city riding or up to 130 miles of highway riding. In order to make this model a viable touring machine, the Level 3 fast charging was introduced too. As a result, you can restore up to 80% of battery capacity in 40 minutes. Besides fast charging, the bike's powertrain also supports Level 1, Level 2, and home charging. Due to the massive battery pack, the Xperia is by no means a lightweight model, tipping the scales at 573 pounds. It should be noted that this weight didn't come easy, as engineers have done a good deal of weight reduction. They used a brand new frame design and a slimmed down version of the EMCE motor. This motor unit is rated for 60 kilowatts of continuous output, while its peak output is 75 kilowatts at 7500 RPM. The torque generated by the motor is said to be 85 pound-feet. Besides having one of the most advanced electric powertrains on the market, the Xperia received great motorcycling parts, namely the ZF SAC suspension with preload and compression adjustments, radial Brembo brakes, cornering 9.3 MP ABS system by Bosch that is combined with a six-level traction control system. The model is equipped with a TFT color display that is useful when switching between different riding profiles, 
enabling the cruise control or activating regenerative braking. Xperia can also be equipped with a top box and hard panniers that can store 30 gallons of your luggage and gear. There's also a waterproof storage compartment for your most important belongings. Kimco is one of the most prominent Taiwanese motorcycle manufacturers. The brand already possesses a great electric powertrain technology that is used in their lineup of electric Ionex scooters, but now the brand's management is planning a strategic move into the e-motorcycle segment. Even though Kimco announced their Super NEX and Revo NEX motorcycles several years ago, these zero-emission two-wheelers never went past the concept stage. However, during this year's EICMA Motor Show, the brand reassured its followers that the bikes will eventually go into production. The official technical specifications have not been officially shared, but Kimco's spokesperson suggested that both models would offer a thrilling performance and would introduce a feature that cannot be found in most e-bikes today, a powertrain with a multi-speed gearbox that offers the joy of shifting, the assurance of ride control, and the thrills of electrified performance. Compared to the original Super NEX and Revo NEX concepts, the bikes exhibited at this year's EICMA had an updated exterior look with perforated honeycomb-like side panels. This year's Milan Motor Show marked the beginning of a new era for Yadea. Until recently, they were predominantly producing electric scooters and compact urban mobility vehicles. However, with the unveiling of the Keenness VFD, the brand is targeting the beginner-friendly class of electric motorcycles. This street motorcycle received a modern look with sporty design elements, but in terms of performance, this two-wheeler could only compete with 125cc ICE counterparts. The bike's powertrain is comprised of an electric motor capable of producing 10 kilowatts of peak output and 206 pound-feet of electrified torque, and two battery packs with 4.6 kilowatt-hours of total capacity. With this battery pack, the mid-mounted motor unit grants you an 87-mile riding autonomy and a full charge. The technical package is also quite strong with this one, as you get a 5-inch LCD display and a Yadea app. These will surely simplify the use of all available features and analysis of performance metrics. The preliminary data suggest that Yadea is planning to include this two-wheeler in their 2023 model lineup. Stash by Vmoto was first previewed in its concept form during last year's Milan Motor Show. This year, however, the company arrived to the exhibition with a production-ready version of this two-wheeler. Just like the concept, the bike will keep the Stash nameplate. The company explained this name choice by a generous amount of storage offered by the motorbike. The front tank area has enough storage space to stash away your helmet and other motorcycling essentials. The two-wheeler is brought into motion by means of a powertrain duo consisting of an 8-kilowatt hub motor and a 72-volt, 100-amp-hour battery pack. Once fully charged, this 315-pound model can provide up to 93 miles of riding in eco mode. Please note that the bike has a 15-kilowatt peak output and is capable of reaching the top speed of 65 miles per hour. However, riding at higher speeds drains the battery at a much higher rate. There's also a boost mode that could be engaged to unlock better acceleration and a 75-mile-per-hour top speed for a short period of time. Vmoto Stash is rolling on a set of 17-inch wheels, has a combined braking system, an ABS, and hydraulic disc brakes in both the front and in the rear. Urbet Electric is a Spanish company that has gotten popular for their electric scooters and lightweight e-motorcycles. The company recently announced the most powerful addition to their production range, an e-motorcycle called Laura. This two-wheeler will slightly differ from what the company's been selling in the past. Laura will have a mid-mounted motor, more power, and longer range. The model is based on a tubular frame with a large center part reserved for a battery pack. 
The base Laura bike will be equipped with a 5 kW electric motor, hinting at performance similar to the 125cc class. This motor offers the 11 kW peak output and 75 mph capabilities. The installed 72V 105 amp hour battery pack has 7.2 kilowatt hours of capacity, thus offering 110 miles of riding in eco mode or 75 miles in the sport mode. Long-range travel enthusiasts will also be treated to a more capable Laura S model. Its motor will provide 19 kilowatts of peak output, so the top speed will rise to 92 miles per hour. Moreover, Laura S was designed to hold two battery packs, totaling in 15.1 kilowatt hours of capacity. Consequently, you can ride up to 150 miles in the sport mode or 223 miles when the eco mode is activated. Verge TS is a completely unique engineering achievement and a truly unique offering on the modern e-bike market. This model features a revolutionary hubless design where the motor is integrated into the rear trim. Verge motorcycles go into production next year and will be offered in two performance modifications, Verge TS and Verge TS Pro. The powertrain installed on the Verge TS peaks at 75 kilowatts, delivers 738 pound-feet of torque to the rear wheel and can propel the rider to 112 miles per hour. The motor can perform in four different riding modes, the most powerful of which lets you sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. In the case of the Verge TS Pro, you get 102 kilowatts of power and 125 mile per hour speed capabilities. The TS Pro utilizes a massive 20.2 kilowatt hour battery pack, good for 217 miles of riding. Despite having such a large capacity pack, the model still managed to keep the overall weight at the 440 pound mark. Both the Verge TS and Verge TS Pro support the CCS fast charging technology. With the base trim model, you can get back on the road in 55 minutes, while the TS Pro battery can be fully restored in 35 minutes. The MC-10 is yet another new model that Tramox had on display during this year's Motor Show in Milan. This compact two-wheeler received high fenders and minimalist styling. It has the seat height of 85 centimeters, tips the scales at 220 pounds, while its ground clearance is at 11 inches. The bike's off-road nature is backed up by the presence of a four-link suspension system with an adjustable shock located in the middle, as well as an inverted spring hydraulic front suspension. In terms of performance, MC-10 is offered with a 5 kW electric motor good for 10 kW of peak output and 206 pound-feet of instantaneous wheel torque. The base model is equipped with a single 72V 30 amp hour battery unit that needs 3 hours to be fully recharged. It grants you the maximum riding speed of 47 miles per hour and the range of 75 miles. There is also a dual battery option that would let you travel for longer distances and unlock the higher top speed capabilities of 56 miles per hour. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again, and till next time.